All right, here we go. What's up, everybody? Anime Daddy here, back again with a gray shirt. And today we're gonna talk about ads on Twitch. It's a very controversial topic. Um, I don't mind ads, but uh, there are great ways to avoid them and still pay streamers for them. But first, let me tell you about myself. I stream Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. standard, or I have a weekly series now, Small Streamer Shoutout Podcast. I interview tons of really cool small streamers, try and get their names out there, and you guys get to see me act like a complete fool and not in an edited form like this. Wednesdays is Complain Cast at 9 p.m. Eastern, and weekends, who knows, just a fun time. Come hang out, animedattea.com for my schedule of the week. Come hang out, guys. It's a lot of fun. So let's get down to brass tacks. Ads. Ads are very important for business because business is important for money. Um, I've talked to a few people about ads, and it's interesting because um, nobody likes ads. Nobody. I don't like ads. I pay for so many different services that I don't have to watch ads. I have YouTube Red, Spotify Premium, anything you can think of premium. Hulu, I have Hulu Premium. If I don't have to watch an ad and I can pay to not watch an ad, I'm going to pay for it. But the weird thing is on Twitch, it's a decent part for some small streamers to make money. And of course, big streamers make good money on ads. I want to start off by talking about CPM real quick. It's kind of a big thing, but also there's a lot of research that goes into it. And this is more of an opinion piece and kind of little research from a small streamer. So bear with me on this. CPM, cost per thousand. Yes, I'm reading a script. Also called cost per mile. This term is basically meant to be used for like 1000 advertisements and their impression on a page. So for example, like if a website publisher charges $2 per CPM, that means they'll pay $2 for every thousand impressions a website has. So for every 1000 views, they'll pay $2 to somebody. Now a thousand views for a small streamer is a lot. So that's why it's super important for small streamers to push them a little bit, but also nobody likes ads. So how are you supposed to get paid for ads. Let's talk about the money real quick before we do that. So Twitch did this thing where now you will get paid for whatever ad revenue you get in your $100 push out. So if you get your $100 through bits and subs and all that, ads now go towards that. So if you hit your $100 and you have two cents in ads, you'll get that two cents at the end of the month with that hundred and what obviously whatever more you make. So that's nice. You don't have to rack up $100 in ads and wait a billion years if you're a small streamer. So I guess that's kind of nice. But basically the easiest way to run an ad is by clicking on run an ad on your stream manager. You also have pre-roll ads um, and it can get tricky because I know when I read it, it says disable pre-roll ad, but it's not as straightforward as getting rid of pre-roll ads altogether. So let's break that down. So disabling a pre-roll ad on your channel, here's how it goes. You first have to run regular ads on your stream itself by clicking that button on your stream manager. When you run a 90 second ad or longer, pre-roll ads will be disabled for 30 minutes. So that's your longest one. When you run a 60 second ad break, pre-roll ads will be disabled for the next 20 minutes. And when you run a 30 second ad break, pre-roll ads will be disabled for the next 10 minutes. So it breaks down smaller and smaller, but you have to have run those ads for people coming into your stream to not see the pre-roll. And obviously if they jump in on a stream that's already running an ad, they're still gonna see the ad. Um, another term that I misread was picture in picture, or picture by picture is what they call it. I assume that the ad would run like in a little box or rather it would blow up big and your stream would go in a little box. But all that really means is that chat can still talk and see themselves while watching the ad. The streamer themselves and their volume goes completely away, but chat can still be active to go like, oh man, I hate watching this ad for Pampers or Lysol wipes or something, but you don't get to see the stream still. So that stinks for gamers and like high energy streams and stuff like that. Now that's all fine and dandy, but once again, everybody hates ads. So if you really, really want to support a streamer, there's channel points that say run an ad. If you know you have subscribers, they don't see the ads to begin with, so you can run them. If there's enough people saying, go run an ad, I'll run to the bathroom, I'll stick around for 60 or 30 seconds, it's nothing. Get those small cents on the dollar, but it's totally fine. Um, but there's still plenty of people who aren't subscribers. You know, I don't expect a lot of my small followers to pay money monthly as much as I love that. 
I want to have the content first, but there needs to be a better way to do it. And I see so many bigger YouTube streamers and sh other streamers and people talking about ads not mentioned this thing that Twitch already brought to the table. It's called Twitch Turbo. If you already know about this, you probably can stop watching because it's amazing. And if you have it, you should assume that it's great for not having to watch ads. Basically, you pay Twitch $8.99 a month to see zero ads unless it's like a special broadcast or a promotion or the channel or streamer themselves has like an ad built into the stream. But, you know, you can only do so much. But the trick is that the streamers will still get paid if they run an ad and you don't see the ad. So say a streamer is playing his game and he has only subscribers watching and he runs a 180 second ad, he's still getting paid for that 180 second ad. In a way, it's kind of free money through subscribers. Now you're paying the streamer themselves and adding a little extra on top of that by making them push an ad, which is insane. Now Twitch Turbo doubles down on that because if you don't subscribe to somebody, but you have Twitch Turbo, they can still run that 180 second ad and they get paid from Twitch. It's like supporting with free money in a way, right? Wrong? You know, obviously fight me in the comments and stuff. This is all like basic research, but I have Twitch Turbo and I've been watching small streamers that I don't subscribe to. And I say, run an ad and they're still doing their thing on stream and they other people see the ad and it's they're getting paid for that. That's going towards their $100 payout. That's insane. Nobody's talking about this. So I'll put down like basic points. You know, there's... Uh, this is supposed to be a good and evils thing, but like there's really no evil to it. I mean, there's evil in ads, so like evil list. Ads are annoying and they interrupt streams. Ads are fueling corporations because, you know, they want to sell their products. Sorry. Ads help businesses I don't like. I don't know. They interrupt and they're nasty, poo poo, nasty things. The, the goods of ads. You might find a product that you like. Streamers get paid for it even a little bit. And then, you know, um, ads are cool sometimes, I guess. I don't know. But it's hard to do a good and evils list because, I mean, ads are tricky because everybody hates them. As far as everyone's concerned, an ad is evil because they want to go watch something they want to watch without being interrupted. That's just science but we're sitting on at least i was sitting on twitch turbo and it's amazing because like i said 8.99 a month zero ads for the most part except like i said special streams um streamers still get paid for running the ad and you don't have to watch it i mean that pretty much explains it if you got through this video i probably should put this at the beginning but also like the longer you watch my video the more cpm i get but also, you know, keep watching you guys. This is fun. I love doing this sort of stuff. Um, now they're talking about other features, like the ways you can, you know, incorporate subscriptions with Twitch Turbo, because ultimately I still want people to subscribe to my page. I still want to subscribe to other people's pages because just because you're not getting ads, that shouldn't be the biggest reason to subscribe to someone. Obviously great emotes, community events, um, supporting the streamer if they're cool. There's still reasons to subscribe. I know ads are sometimes a big thing for people to subscribe to a page, but I, I hope that doesn't sway anyone by shouting out Twitch Turbo because I definitely don't want streamers to lose money. And I guess worst case scenario, if you don't subscribe, but you have Twitch Turbo, they can just spam the ad button. So yeah, that's some uh, food for thought. I really wanted to get this video out here. Obviously I'm basically rambling because I'm also a small streamer, but this is cool. I have Twitch Turbo now. I can tell the people that I'm watching to just keep running ads if enough people in the chat also agree. Like that's a cool thing about being small streamers is the main focus for us is to help other small streamers be successful at least a little bit, put some sandwiches in our bellies. But yeah, please share this video. Um, if there's anything I said that's wrong, let me know. Fight me in the comments about it. How's this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? Uh, Twitch, please don't attack me. This is good for Twitch. I mean, they get their money still, so bad for ad people. You're just gonna have to find different ways. You're gonna have to sponsor small streamers if you want your ads. I'll start using Lysol wipes every once in a while. I'll be like, mmm, these Lysol wipes are so amazing. Even though I think Lysol wipes are for like tables and stuff and not skin. But anyway, yeah guys, animedatty.com for my weekly schedule, Monday through Friday, Complain Cast on Wednesdays. Let's hang out. Keep on streaming everybody. I'll see you out there.